Hello, my name is uh, Vern. I'm known as Hey Vern on the Anime Studio Forum. I'm going to do a quick uh, rundown of the menus and some of the new features in Anime Studio 6. I'll start with the file menu. We of course have the standard new, open, close, save, save as, proje uh, project settings, import. Uh, one of the first new features is open recent now. Uh, uh, with a list of recent documents opened in Anime Studio. Project settings have some new output resolutions for widescreen, uh, YouTube HD, YouTube Standard. Import lots of new pr uh, supplied content from Smith Micro. It comes with the application. You can use these to get started animating uh, stories right away, or you can use them as reference for creating your own projects and your own characters. We have uh, anime, the Anime Studio object import. Uh, basically, it imports Anime Studio files into another Anime Studio file. Uh, most, uh, a lot of these are, are from the previous version. There are some new ones. Uh, uh, they've been updated. Uh, image import, same as before. Movie import now is uh, improved. It, it imports uh, video or or any movie file format with audio. Also, the frames per second is is independent of the Anime Studio project or file that you're working in, so they don't have to be exactly the same. Adobe Illustrator files and EPS file imports have been improved to some degree. Uh, more efficient uh, creation of points reduces the number of points. Tracing image, audio file. Audio file import has been greatly improved. Audio files are now imported as layers. So you, that means you can have multiple audio files on, on layers and you can overlap them, you can repeat them, slide them around in the new sequencer feature, um, etc. It's a very powerful new feature. And of course the standard object 3D model import. I'll probably go over many of these new features in uh, upcoming tutorials. We have the preview, export animation, and upload to YouTube is a new feature. You set your YouTube account login information and preferences and then you can select files to upload, select the animation files to upload that you've rendered from Anime Studio. Uh, the batch export is pretty much the same as before. You drag files into the window and then set them to render and Anime Studio will process all those files in sequence. Under the edit menu, we'll go to preferences. A couple of new things here. Uh, enable drawing tools only on frame zero. This is to prevent you from accidentally adding points or drawing new shapes or editing uh, shape shapes properties like color and stroke while you're on other frames besides zero, frame zero. Often you don't want to do those things on any frame but zero. Um, but now it's an option. You can turn that off if you need to. Consolidate timeline channels. For example, if you have a bone layer, normally it would indicate each channel, each animated channel of a bone. For example, uh, the angle, scale, uh, position. It would list those channels individually. By checking this box, it consolidates all those channels into one, into one channel. It doesn't actually edit the document, it's just a purely for visual feedback. So by turning this off, you can see all the channels again. Video upload, uh, this is where you enter your login information to your YouTube account to upload videos. The editor colors <coughs> are the same as before. GUI colors now uh, have been enhanced uh, uh, and expanded because of the new look and feel of Anime Studio 6. Uh, you can edit these uh, settings to your heart's content to make Anime Studio look exactly the way you want it to look.
under the draw menu to specifically two new features hide shape and show all shapes I'll demonstrate that real quickly by drawing some shapes here uh, basically this is to help you uh, when editing complicated uh, vector layers with lots of shapes you select the shape and you say hide shape and that shape is hidden and then it reveal all the shapes you just say show all shapes uh, these commands uh, also have uh, key boot keyboard commands oh you'll notice too that the uh, um, redo now has a keyboard command as well as undo under the edit menu under the bone menu there's a new feature called track bones to video you can bring in video layers and create tr uh, tracking markers on points of the video to follow along with the video and then you can track a bone to those markers this is a great new feature it's pretty exciting moving to the animation menu several new things here uh, well related uh, some of them related to the sequencer feature which is new I'll demonstrate that let me undock the uh, timeline so we can see it here's our standard channel view and what I'll do is I'll duplicate my vector layer a few times so you can see what's going on here the layers now in the sequencer view can be shifted in time and you'll notice these green lines. The green line indicates frame zero of that layer. The green triangle when it's selected at the top is a marker for the start of that layer which would be frame one. Under the menu, under the animation menu, there's a set layer start time. Wherever the marker is on your timeline you set layer start time and the layer that's selected will jump to that point. And you notice here the green line representing frame zero is behind the mark. Uh, another uh, new feature uh, in this section is blend morphs. Morphs are actually actions. Uh, if you're familiar with Anime Studio, you know that uh, actions are sequences of animation that can be reused over and over by inserting them into the timeline. Well now, if you have actions, you can blend them using the blend morphs window. So I'll just create a, a, a couple of actions real quickly to demonstrate that. Basically you want a one, a one frame animation or pose on frame one of, of a particular action. And I'll just randomly move some points here just to demonstrate it. and then what you would do after creating these actions you go back to your main timeline and you can go anywhere in the time in the timeline and under animation select blend morphs and now your your actions are listed as sliders and you can mix and match the positions of those and also the default would be the main timeline so now that can also be incorporated into it and then after you hit OK, it adds a keyframe for whatever uh, channels were affected by the uh, by the actions. 